Tax Fitness headquarters today, I have with me David Plough. Welcome David. Thank you for having me. And David is the owner of White Label Accounting Solutions. And David's also an active user of the Tax Fitness software, which is fantastic. And he's actually going to be telling us more about why. But first I'm going to ask you, David, a little bit about your background and what led you to forming your own business. Sure. Uh, I've been practicing tax accounting for about 10 years now, or actually a bit over 10 years now. And um, I started in a mid-tier accounting practice. Uh, I actually joined them in my last year of university, my last semester of university, and I uh, been with I was with them for almost nine years. I wanted to start up White Label Accounting Solutions as a, kind of like a torchbearer to show the accounting industry really that you can actually be a profitable accounting firm that you don't have to rely, rely on outsourcing your core activities just but you just do it by being a bit more intelligent and putting a bit more investment in time specifically it's not actually that much money in technology now with the scalable software as a cloud service software as a service pricing model of many apps right. so it's a very scalable cost model but it's a, it does take time it does require management capabilities and management capabilities means you're driving a change from the top there's a huge value opportunity out there with technology and integration that you can actually set up systems and processes to give so much more value to business owners again Ta the great thing about tax fitness and the tools we're using with tax fitness is because it was actually expensive to sit through and explain to the, the clients all the different tax strategies that might apply to them. Mm. What I found really useful about embracing tools such as tax fitness is that I can have a discussion with them on a high level, right? right. So I'm not just, I'm not trying to drain their energy on the tax thing. I'm just I'm just giving them enough. I then can send them a tax fitness planning report and then um, first of all I like the tax fitness planning report because it actually I feel it's in plain English it's not actually in technical language and two is that they have the discussion it starts seeding in the mind so the critical pathways are being developed right they might sleep on it and all that then they'll look at the tax fitness report so they get they, they, they're getting they're absorbing more information using this system than they are just by sitting in front of you and having a chat, right? And I feel more comfortable behind that because it means that now I know the client is aware of all the things I've meant to tell them. I'm, I'm not negligent in any possible way and I've done it in a manner. This is, this is my biggest thing, right? I want to deliver, I believe strongly that technology means that I should be able to deliver better quality at a cheaper service than what the current market price is, right? Because right. accountants have not adopted technology and accountants are using an outsourcing model, but even in that outsourcing model, I see a lot of inefficiencies that technology bridges, right? So I believe strongly that the way I have in my mind about integrating technology and integrating tools such as tax fitness, I believe I can do a better price um, and better quality service. Um, so I'm. I'm pushing that right and I do go out to clients and I tell them this is the price and I tell them the service they're getting and I tell them they're getting they're going to get a lot of value tax advice right and every single client that I've given a tax fitness planning report to which is all of them now you know I've, I started doing every client I had a policy that in July every client I have even the small individual client returns were for $120 I, I, I still give them a tax fitness planning report why because people have networks around them they have they have a community around them and you know what the reality is is when I send some information to someone the great thing about tax and what I love about tax and tax knowledge is that it's knowledge that pays year after year after year so if you tell someone a tax strategy that applies to them usually it's a strategy that applies year on year because they're paying tax every year right so for very little time you can actually deliver hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars worth of value right if you add it up in, in over a 20 year or 30 year cycle it's a lot of value that if a tax accountant does not make it and it works conversely as well because if a tax accountant doesn't tell a client about these strategies they might have lost 10 years worth of money you which know? is very true and what about the potential for referrals David because obviously if you do a good job with your client that perhaps their former accountant hasn't done, you've got the opportunity for referrals there. So this well. is this is it. This is the key thing, right? So, you know, there's all there's all different types of clients, right? But I found I was able to make money off a low end client because by using tax fitness because it's leveraged that person's referral network, right? So I didn't have to spend I've been getting second to third 
level referrals. So a client's referred a client, a, a friend, a friend to me, and that friend's then referred another friend to me, purely because I know for a fact it's because of the tax fitness planning reports. It's because they were so wowed by the amount of knowledge that they got in just that little time of experience they had with, with the tax accountant, right? At the end of the day, most clients are not happy seeing a tax accountant. They generally, they generally are not happy about mm. it. It's, it comes back to the point, it's a world that they don't want to live in. You know, it's, they're, not, they're not aware and they don't want to put in the critical energy to build that critical thinking pathways to understand and comprehend tax. It's complex, right? So uh, with tax fitness report, it, it's, it's a pleasant surprise to them. All of a sudden, I've turned a negative experience that they have in their mind into something really positive, saying, by seeing David, it's not, I'm actually making money. You know, I'm actually, and not only that, he was able to explain, this is, this is what clients to me, he was able to explain something to me in plain English that I actually understood and actually understood how to action it, right? And the tax fitness, I actually don't say anything different to what the tax fitness planning report says, right? I've even had questions from clients when they, I've sent them tax fitness report, they sent me a question on the strategy, I've literally just copied and pasted the explanation because what they've done is just skim read it <laughs> and they didn't bother to read the description. I've literally, I said, oh, that's great advice, thank you. I'm like, yeah, it was actually in the report. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, um, the, the reality is, is clients appreciate it and that's the big thing like if you're doing something that clients appreciate they, they see value in it. and I love to tell people how much value they got out of something that client talks to everyone about it because they love the fact that they can tell their mate that they they save more tax they, they pay less tax than their mate and earn more money or something like that because they know the special guy that can save them on that they love talking about that even if even for a hundred twenty dollar client you know so many of them are not aware about sorry packaging motor vehicles they all have motor vehicles Right. I think that's a very good point, David. I think some accountants would probably think it's only for the bigger business clients, but what you're doing is actually the right thing. You're actually giving everybody the tax plan yeah. because there are savings for individuals, not just the bigger business clients. Absolutely. It's not only do I get referrals through the tax fitness planning report for from clients that speak to their mates, but I'm also using it as a tool of building a, uh, relationships with business to business connections. So. Uh, it's, it's a way of fostering that sort of beginning of that relationship where you're getting to know each other and seeing, oh, can I trust this person? Am I, am I willing to refer work to this person? I use the tax fitness planning report as I, I give it for free to, to, to many of these business to business, business sort of connections that I have purely because I know that I, if I so, sell them on my tax knowledge, they're going to actually bring me all their clients work because there is no accountant that's doing this. At the moment, the moment you can actually identify a strategy that the accountant has not told them, um, and the reality is there's always one if they're not using a tool like tax fitness because it's such a streamlined way for me to actually go through and make sure I've actually pro considered all the tax strategies available for this client. With tax fitness, I go, I go onto the program and I skim overview all the 225 tax strategies and I do a refresher each time. It only takes me five to 10 minutes to skip read them all. I recognize which one's available, I select them, and I send it out, right? But I know for certainty they are now aware of all the tax strategies that apply to them because I followed a standardized process.